Kids Place Live. And Tori, I've got a question for you. Have you ever had something in your house that was put somewhere and then sort of forgotten about, and it was in a place that wasn't convenient or a place where this thing belonged, but maybe you and Dan the Ham and all the dog just kind of kept going around it and stepping around it, and soon it just became a fixture there and you kind of forgot about it. Have you ever had anything like that? Or maybe even in, in your city or your neighborhood where you live, there's something there that you just, everyone walks past and <laughs> doesn't belong there, but you just all sort of start to accept it? We do have one of those in my neighborhood because one day, um, what do you call it, like a manhole, water was pouring out of a manhole. I guess it had rained a lot. Some kind of water pipe somewhere underground had burst. And this manhole was just pouring out water. And it took the city, like the people in charge of fixing these things, it took them three days to come out and deal with it. So in wow. the meantime, the neighbors kind of all got together and put up like cones or chairs like around it so that people didn't like so we all knew it was there nobody drove over it um and eventually because it was taking so long for this huge water problem to get fixed someone uh made a sign for it called you know the neighborhood waterfall <laughs> <laughs> and people would come and take pictures with the sign. It had a little hashtag going on Instagram for a little while. And wow. you know what? When it got fixed and all those cones went away and it was all dried up, I missed it a little. You missed it. Okay, so uh, an exploding water-filled manhole became your neighborhood's um, waterfall. It's, it's fountain and people started to accept it. That is so interesting that you say that, Tori, because I have got a story for you out of Italy, where in 1974, a man named Angelo Frigilent, he parked his car outside of the business that he ran with his wife um, every day. He would, he would just put, park it there in front of the business, and then he'd end the day for work, and then he'd drive it home, and every day he'd do, the, do this again. Well, one day, he parked his car in front of the business, and he just never moved it again. I guess he maybe walked home, he was done with the car, whatever, but he never moved the car again. Fast forward to 2001. Angelo is now 94 years old, and guess what, Tori? The car is still in the exact spot where he parked it <laughs> that fateful day in 1974. Almost and 40 years ago? Mm-hmm. And so, uh, you know, over time, it's... Oh, my uh, gosh, wait, 50 years Almost ago. 50 years ago, oh, yeah. Oh, man. So over time, you know, people, I'm sure for a while there were... And, and this car is looking, it's in bad shape. Cute car, once upon a time, but now it's in bad shape. So, you know, people, I'm sure, for the first few years, maybe first few months even, were thinking, wow, is anyone ever going to move this car? I mean, it's in, it's legally parked. It's an actual parking spot. But, um, you know, years went by, and slowly people started to accept and even enjoy the fact that this old car was still in the same parking spot. And then it's kind of become a local landmark, sort of like your your geyser of a of a manhole um it became a landmark and tourists who would visit this town would stop and take photos of themselves with this car and they would upload them to social media and now the car is at risk oh by the way it's got flat four flat tires at this point probably comes as no surprise so now there is a plan in this town to remove the parking spot where this car is parked along with three other parking spots along the side of this street where the where the car is parked so um you know the locals who have since grown to love this car that has not moved since 1974 from its parking spot on the street are trying to come up with a way to 
move this vehicle to a place where it can continue to be admired by people who come visit. And the original owner, Angelo, 94 years old, still alive, um, really has been pleased with the attention that his car has received over the decades <laughs> and, and wants to see this admiration of it continue. So I just love the fact this guy is probably just walking down the street casually every now and then seeing, oh, yeah, my car's still there. Oh, yeah, there's people taking pictures outside of it. But this gray, it's, it's a, the car was called a Lancia Fulvia. I've never heard, it's a European car. I've never heard one, heard of one before. It must have been cute back in the day. Bad shape now. But I just love the fact that this car <laughs> parked in the same spot for almost 50 years. Oh, boy. We've got a bike, Tori, out, out the street in, in front of us, across the street. There is a bike perched up next to a telephone pole. And it's been there now for four days. And I keep meaning to maybe send a note to like the neighborhood association saying hey does this bike belong to anyone but yesterday i thought no i'm curious to see how long this bike's last there i mean surely someone's gonna eventually just take it even if it's not theirs i'm guessing so i think someone abandoned this bike on the side of our street i don't know so uh, i would love to know if you're listening right now if you've got a story of something that your family or your neighborhood or your neighbors, something that's, that's existed in one spot where it doesn't belong, but everyone just grows to accept it. You get so used to this thing being in the wrong spot that it stops bothering you after a while. You just kind of work around it. It becomes a fixture in your life. So if you've got a story like this, kids or grown-ups, give us a call now, 1-866-328-2345.